Black and white Asians, we are one. Black and white Asians, we are one. 2022, I was supposed to go to the medical center or job. We are meet for me, I be a book on me. Who request sex for me and I refused. Ever since then, this must be my nightmare in the army. This is one of the videos done by Private Roots Ogunle accusing Colonel I.B. Abdul Karim of several offenses, including sexual harassment, intimidation, and threat to life. Ogunle, who served at the Cantonment Medical Center, Ojo, says she was stigmatized for refusing the officer's sexual advances. Ogunle made the allegations in January 2024, but said the maltreatment had gone on for a while as far back as 2022, unchecked by the Nigerian army. Eight months later, the Nigerian army says it has concluded investigations and found the military officer not guilty and Ogunle mentally unstable. The investigation con concluded that Colonel I.B. Abdul Karim did not commit the offense of sexual harassment as alleged by ex-private Roots Ogunle. The findings were definitive and based on objective evaluation of the available information. The Army says Private Ogunle has also been discharged from the force after medical evaluations showed she had potential mental health concerns. The Army has also shelved any disciplinary procedures that could have been brought against her based on medical recommendations and promised to pay some benefits which it says Ogunle isn't qualified for. Further to this, ladies and gentlemen, though ex-private route did not serve up to pensionable years of service, which is 10 years, she has nonetheless been discharged from the Nigerian army with 50% disability claim, meaning she will receive a 50% monthly pension for life. Journalists at the event asked several clarifications, including medical records of the dismissed officer and the motivation for paying Roots benefits which she isn't qualified to collect. And so I'm really worried why it has taken the Nigerian Army close to 10 months to come out with these findings. And In response, the Army refused to show evidence that Ogunle is medically unstable due to legal reasons but referred journalists to the National Hospital where the examinations were conducted. Medical inconfidence makes it impossible for you to bring the document and say, this is her medical report from the hospital. We can't do that. It's against the ethics of the profession. Meanwhile, Ruth Ogunle has continued her social media campaign. She criticizes the Army's investigation and says her discharge is an injustice. The Army promised to do investigation at the end of the day. I was spotted out without my consent. Why? What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Issues of sexual harassment, gender-based violence and human rights abuses are often reported in the military despite several measures taken to address them. This girl will not lie to a senior officer in Nigeria. I mean, Nigeria, I mean, they don't take shit. You know, if you fucked up, you are dismissed. You know, understand? What I see in this case is that this girl is okay. She's not mentally healed. She's okay. There's nothing wrong with her brain. The thing is that that officer tried to get to her. When she refused, then he tried to like lay allegation upon her that she's like this, she's like this. You understand, though? This girl did nothing wrong, and nothing is wrong with her brain. Nothing they do this girl, bro. Now, just Nigeria and me, they try to cover up for the senior officer. You know, not big officer. Man. They go for their officer. Man. No, they will never for their officer. Man. For real, they know go for the officer hand because they know what in they happen. They know they will don't call the officer say alpha, tell us the truth and but make you know be like say kurtu. Just knew I mean get away, never reach anything, go come come make you lose your job. We go put everything for her, she go this we go dismiss her. Thought saying a lie, she lied to you, say her mental. Normally when I go show they have the at least they should show us the proof that she's mentally healed. You know, 50% mentally healed, so that people, the public, will, the public will understand what they happen. Understand? You are coming here talking to you can't show proof if she's mentally ill. But 
What to make me happy be say they will be paying her pension, you know, until she died. So that one is okay. At least she's earning some salary. If she get work also, she could get two salary as well. So which is good for her, you understand? But I know this this case is just for me. This is just they know she's saying the truth. What to be your opinion? Drop it in the comment section. Black and white Asians. We are one. Black and white Asians, we are one.